Hello curly friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jody. if you're new here, and I do all kinds of curly hair content. So um, I'd love to have you follow me and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be going through a new product line for me, it's new to me. Um, I have tried it a few times, just a couple. And so I'm still experimenting with it. It is the Main Choice Peach Black Tea Vitamin Infusion. And this line advertises for um, fine to medium coarse hair. I'm sorry, fine to medium hair. And I have very fine hair. It advertises for anti-shedding and intense volume therapy. Having fine hair, a lot of times our hair gets weighed down with the product. So this sounded like it was right up my alley. And this is the shampoo that I used. It says it is a deeply yet gently cleansing nourishes, protects, improves elasticity, and boosts natural shine and luster. So I used this and I followed it up with the conditioner. The conditioner says, add softness, body, lightweight moisture, enhances natural shine, luster, and improves moisture retention and elasticity. Um, both of these, they this did, the shampoo seemed to be a little bit more deeply cleansing. I, my hair kind of felt a little bit stripped after I was finished, but um, it did give me a good lather, which I do enjoy. The conditioner did help soften my hair. So since my hair felt like it needed a little bit more, I did use their mask that they have. It's along the same line. It's um, is anti shedding intense volume therapy. And uh, this was, I left it in for about 30 minutes, probably a little bit longer because I was doing some stuff in between. But um, with all three of these products, one thing I don't like is it says you're supposed to rinse with cold water. Who wants to be rinsing with cold water? Unless it's in the summertime, which is not right now. But that was a little bit of a downturn for me or a downside that I didn't care for. But it does do a really good job cleaning and conditioning my hair and I do like the way it feels afterwards. It was easy to detangle. I have run the comb, a wide tooth comb through my hair, but it was easy to detangle. And so it, my hair still feels soft and we're going to get into styling now. Okay, let's get to styling. The first thing I'm going to use is not from the main choice line. It is Aussie leave-in conditioner. I've used this for ages, I love it. I just feel like this line needs a leave-in conditioner in my opinion but I'm not really bothered by the fact that it doesn't have one because I have plenty. So uh, I did notice when I finished rinsing out the conditioner, the mask I should say, that I did have wet frizz and I'm still working on how to best control that. So I'm still in the learning process, but I did feel like a leave-in conditioner would be appropriate today. I will say about this line that since I haven't used it consistently, I don't know that I can verify the anti-shedding claims. I seem to shed about the same amount, but I've only used it twice before today and it's never been in a row. So if you use this consistently, you might notice anti-shedding is, is a benefit, but I haven't seen that yet. On to the mousse. I'm going to do this a little differently than I have done some of my other mousses where I usually flip upside down. Just gonna try it out this way. This is actually more of a foam and it does say that this mousse adds lasting body, shine, and volume, strengthens and conditions and protects, nourishes, refines, and defines. So, so I'm going to put some pumps of this We'll try about three, I think, on each side. I'm going to use my Denman brush later to help distribute this. I don't know if you can hear this, but I do hear a squishing sound, which means my hair has a pretty good amount of product in it. Once again, about the same amount. Sorry for the hairs in there. I 
I am getting the extra pump maybe for up top. And in the back. Okay, now the last part I'm going to do before I diffuse is I'm going to use my Denman brush. And I've never really showed you how I style with it and don't have the perfect technique. I wish I had brought some hair clippies out here, but we'll try to do it this way. So I usually actually style with this with my hair upside down, taking smaller sections, but we're going to try it this way. Just going to run this through my hair a couple times and then I'm gonna put a little bit more retention on it. And I'm just going to curl this out and shake this loose. And go do that, like I said, in smaller sections. So I finished using the Denman brush on both sides. This is just supposed to help define the ringlets, clump them together. I have, for the Denman brush, you can take some of these rows out. I have not done that before and I'm debating about trying it. This doesn't come out too easily, this pink part, so I haven't done it. I've been lazy about it, but I should experiment and try with a few less rows. Maybe start out one less each time and see if that helps. Um, with making mine actually clump up more. My curls tend to kind of split apart anyways. So like I said, I'm still experimenting. I'm still learning all these new methods to me. So right now I'm going to actually flip my head upside down and get um, a little bit more scrunching in, so. I'm trying to be in the frame as much as possible. Just doing some light scrunching. Okay, so now at this point, I am going to let my hair air dry for a while, probably about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to diffuse, and I'll be back and show you my results, and then I'll also show you the final product that they have. So, stay tuned. Okay, friends, we're, I'm back, and I have my hair obviously dried, and I wanna say it did not take long. These products were super lightweight, and my hair with the diffuser dried in, I would say, under 10 minutes, which is, is record timing for me. So it is a little frizzy. I did break out some of the clumps, the curl clumps. I had a fair amount of those, especially right here in the front. That's where my curl pattern seems to be the tightest. So now for the last product that I have, it is a hairspray. And I love hairsprays, folks. So let me read what this hairspray says. It says, touchable, medium hold, strengthens, conditions, protects, nourishes, polishes, refines, and smooths, flyaways, and tames frizz. So I definitely need some frizz taming here, and I imagine I'll get flyaways pretty soon, if not already. So I'm going to spray it while it's down in this position, and then it also recommends for better hold to flip your hair upside down and spray it that way. So just going to... Shake it well, it says. Okay. All right, my hair is pretty well pretty well sprayed right now. I'm going to flip it my hair over and spray that hair in just a second. I'm going to let this just form a little bit of a cast. Meanwhile, while this is forming just a little bit of a cast, I will say all of these products smell wonderful. 
They smell like peach and black tea, which is what the line is kind of named. So um, some of them smell a little bit more peachy like the mask does. And some of them I can smell a little bit more of the black tea in there. So I love the smell of them. All right, now I'm going to flip my hair over. And what I like to do with any hairspray is I like to kind of suction my hair just a little bit and get some volume right in here. So I will spray the bottom half of that or the underside of that. And then I also spray this. Then I just kind of let that do its magic there. And I'll spray the underside of my hair. I'm not a big fan of the center part, so I will not try to keep that. I've got a mirror down here. Hopefully my mirror is not blocking. I have some wonderful curl patterns right here. If you can see that, very defined. And it's interesting because this line also says it can be used for hair straightening too. So it kind of has a heat protectant in it as well. And it's a very versatile line. So it works for curls and apparently it works for straight hair, which I have not tried it yet. I haven't straightened my hair in a long time. I would say it's been a, probably over a year since I've straightened it. And I may do that again here. Um, I don't know when, but probably not till maybe next winter. And we're coming up on summer and I really don't have the best luck of straightening my hair in the summertime. Okay, so. I have finished fluffing out my hair and applied just a little bit more hairspray and I'm really loving my results. It has volume, not loads of volume, but like I said, with my fine hair, it's hard to get that sometimes. Products easily weigh it down, although that was not the case with these today. So I really do like these products. I will continue to use this as like a refresh for my hair later on in the week. Um, I've done this before and I know it works well. It just kind of tames the frizz down again and gives me a little bit more volume. So I'm not afraid to use this. Definitely like this product. And while the mousse doesn't seem like anything extraordinary when I'm putting it in, it does seem to, to work well. I mean, my curls have formed their curl pattern and so I'm happy with this. I did do the leave-in conditioner under the mousse for the first time and that may have helped a little bit because I don't remember my curl pattern being quite this tight um, but that also may have been due to the weather so all right so tell me what you think do you like these results have you tried them before do you have fine hair because I totally recommend trying these products they can be a little bit more pricey um, I did find them on sale I believe for like seven dollars on the site they were having a sale otherwise they're around like 13 14 dollars so um definitely recommend this product and the entire line and like i said let me know what you think and i'd love to hear from you in the comments below once again hit that subscribe button and the like button if you can please it really does help me out all right so i hope to see you again next week for another hairstyle review so till then bye